When dealing with any type of neck pain, it's important to improve mobility in not only the neck, but in the segments below the chain too. So a lot of times with neck pain, I like to improve mobility in that mid-back because a lot of the muscles in the neck attach to that shoulder blade area, which is located in that mid-back region. So in this video, we're going to be covering four mobility drills that you can do to start opening up that mobility in your neck and in your mid-back. So the first mobility drill we're going to start off with is a chin tuck with rotation. So we talked about the chin tuck in the last video, but now we're going to start improving some mobility with your neck turning. So with this first one, you want to stand nice and tall. You want to think about bringing your chin back. Okay, so... Again, like we talked about in the last video, you're not just looking down, bring that chin towards your chest. You wanna stand nice and straight, bring that chin straight back. And then from here, you wanna add a little bit of rotation in. So you wanna tuck in that chin, turn to the right, keeping that chin tucked, and then rotate towards the left. And then come back and relax that neck. Again, chin tuck first, hold that chin tuck, So one rep turning right and left is going to be one. Go for 10 reps of these and go for three sets. When doing this exercise, if you feel any type of pain, pinching in that neck area, stop immediately. None of this should cause numbness or tingling to your fingers as well. The second exercise we're going to do, like we talked about, is going to improve that thoracic extension. So what you're going to need for this is a foam roller, you're going to place that down on the floor and then you're going to position yourself where the foam roller is sitting in between that shoulder, shoulder blade area. You're going to come down to the floor, position that foam roller, place your hands behind your, your head or your neck. And with this one, you don't want to think about just extending that neck back. You want to keep your head neutral and you want to think about using this foam roller as a hinge. So you want to gently extend over that foam roller come back roll the foam roller up a little bit so you can position it on a different spot of your mid back extend come back and extend with this one you can set a timer for 30 seconds and then you want to think about moving that foam roller up and down so you can target different spots on your mid back this next one we're going to do is going to be a thoracic rotation movement. So you wanna use the foam roller, position your body so you're on your hands and knees. You're gonna take one hand, keep the palm facing up, place it on the foam roller. You wanna keep this other arm nice and straight. You don't wanna bend as you go. Keep that other arm straight, palm facing up. You wanna roll that foam roller and get a stretch in that mid back. So this is gonna help with your thoracic rotation as you go. With this, I like to go 10 reps, rotating to one side, and then switch over onto the other side. Next mobility drill is gonna be helping to improve your extension. So what you want to do is stand nice and tall. You're gonna place your hands, interlock them, and then place them on your neck like so. From here, you wanna gently let your head roll backwards, come back down. We're gonna try and improve your, your cervical extension with this movement. So interlock, let that head roll backwards, and then come back down. With this, if you have any pain, don't push into the pain, but you wanna gently let your neck move into that extension range. That's gonna help free up some mobility in that neck. It's gonna help release some of that tension as well. So that concludes our second video in this month's newsletter. Those are four drills that you can do to start improving your mobility in your neck and in your mid-back.